I, I got to ask this. I mean, you, you, you love America. I, I've heard you talk so much about, like, we are the policemen of the world. I've heard you do the spout out, like, nobody's going to beat us. You know, we're the best. It is the most, it is the most viral thing I have ever done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was that clip. Yes, but yeah, so, was, so Zuby but, likes to say this too, and I agree with them very heavily. Like, Florida and Texas are fucking huge. Like, we, since America is the policeman of the world, sure. and we're the two red states that have the most population, we're a very big deal here. It's mm -hmm. on our backs to kind of make sure politically shit doesn't keep going left, as you're saying, that sure. it could go. So don't you think that as men that are bothered by this, like we should be in solution, like going and signing up for our community, our committees and everything to get onto boards and start getting into politics early on right now, because it's up to us to make sure that the rest of the world isn't going to fucking like we're the policemen of the world. So if we fall, the whole world falls. Don't you agree? Yeah, I mean, I think I think the issue is gonna, then going to be academia and po yeah. politics, right? Even politically conservative people. Uh, in Washington have to act within a certain range of wokeness or else they're, they're just going to be ostracized completely. And the same thing with uh, academia, Hollywood, um, the, and obviously in the media. And like, we, it's gotten to the point now where like people complaining about Jack Dorsey, no, like, it's fine that Jack Dorsey owned Twitter, but it's a problem that Elon Musk owned Twitter. Like to me, that's one of the most hypocritical things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Like it's nonsense, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. I like, as far as things going to the right, you could try. I mean, I don't. I don't have a. I'm much like Rich Cooper, dude. I'm just watching the decline. Yeah, and George Carlin and always Sergio. said that. I'm I'm down with that, but I want to fix shit. Here's, here's, here's a tough part because um, I have I have I have a few international friends, and by and large, the average American doesn't know what's going on in world news. But the average person that's international actually studies what's going on over here. Yeah, and because of that, we tr like. Of course, like when we talk about uh, wep from a weaponary standpoint, we are a superpower. But um, I, I do believe like there are what we would define as more traditional places in, in places like Africa, right? Or, or in other places, right? Or, and so with that being said, although we may have some things that we would consider right, or even I guess on the other left, um, I, don't, I don't think to say that we are setting the pace for everyone is fair. Because if that's the case, we're discrediting the fact that there's an entire world out there that's like, yeah, we don't rock with y'all. You know, like like there's Kenyan leaders. I don't know if you I don't know if you've ever seen like um, Americans interview Kenyan leaders mm -hmm. and like, hey, so um, what are y'all gonna do about this LGBTQ and 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 um and, and, and women's rights, right? Like, and they're like, what? yeah, that's not our issue. Like like your <laughs> issues, your issues are we, not. We our, need clean water. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> well, they, 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 Kenya. You said, but they have it. But like, it's it's more so like like we're worried about a lot of things like poverty, yeah. right? Yeah. And so with with that being said, why are you trying to push your ideals on us and saying we're not progressive? Yeah. When we're saying our people are pushing for what our people want. Yeah. And so and literally, it's 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 trying to in, invoke our own ideologies on other con countries is. The definition of colonialism yeah and right? that, i don't want us to do that but what i'm scared of is like i said if texas and florida fall and if we're if america is the policeman of the world if we fall then the that i'm scared of china and russia and their bots and what they've already been doing that's all i'm saying is i'm just scared about like but yeah I, dude, trust me i think that we could be the fullest blue country and then our policemen of the world aren't the policemen of the world we're so fucking blue Texas, right? and then but all those red countries, they're not going to fucking save us. They're not going to save us at all. Like, we're fucked. It's up to us. And that's, yeah. why, that's why I always go back to it. How many more questions? Did we get any of the questions? Uh, actually? <laughs> I'm not dude, sure we yeah. touched any of the questions. No, dude, honest. we really haven't. I have to just finish these <laughs> damn super chats, bro. Yeah, I, I, have, I do have a question, chats. though. Yeah. Can, we, can we hit these go super ahead. chats yeah, yeah, real, real quick? quick? I want to fly yeah. through these. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, Fonzie C10, religion will not save us. We need an asteroid to hit or a total economic collapse. We men have to either level up or go overseas. Shout out to Coach Gang. <laughs> How much did you want to talk about? That? Two dollars, be a cheeks. Thanks to Sartain, uh, been friend zoning girls more likely. Yeah, dude, you need to start doing it all the time. You need to be friend zoning them constantly. Uh, five dollars from the Hollow Turtle. Happy birthday, sir. This would be a rumble rant, but dude, thank you, Hollow Turtle, for helping with everything you've been doing, bro. I really appreciate you. The rumbling. Um, what's the next one? Benjamin, five dollars. In Canada, the churches are now bound by Bill C four. They are unable mm. to preach on biblical <laughs> sexuality. So oh, wow. yes, politics does drive how woke the church Absolutely. is. That's fucking crazy. I didn't know yeah, they were doing that. Nice. Uh, two dollars oh, from yeah. Tristan Darshan. No, just thank you. No, appreciate thanks. Tristan. Yeah, five dollars from Being Cheeks again. Michael, why the hate on my bow tie? I didn't say anything about your bow tie. It was, a, it was me. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was saying shout, shout out to the bow tie. Man. What book are you on currently? <laughs> uh, I am. I am currently reading the Three Body Problem. It's a science fiction book about quantum mechanics, and it's written by a Chinese author. It's fantastic. Quantum mechanics. Uh, Chinese Fire. author. That's yeah. cool. Fire. Isn't that what you majored in? You I, I majored in uh, uh, astrophysics. Astrophysics. I'll always no, remember I, that. I, I majored in business. My minor is in astrophysics. Okay. I was in 
the business school. You, you, uh, you study on epigenetics? A little bit, yeah. Indeed. I mean, it's, 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 I think That's it's a, a huge thing. I think it's me. a bit overblown on how much you can change your genetics yeah. from from generation like... to generation. But over the course of time, you can change it. Absolutely. So we've seen it. We've seen it with red blood cell counts in Sherpas yeah. who live up in high altitudes. Their children are actually able to develop more red blood cells at a short amount of time. And we also see it with the um what's it called lactose intolerance do you guys know what's crazy is that humans were not designed to drink milk past a certain yeah age. yeah yeah and we're able to do that but here's the other thing cats weren't either but cats drink milk where humans drink milk cats have de deter they have this enzyme that breaks down <laughs> lactose also and they've developed it genetically because the humans around them have how funny uh, did good. you ever see Zyguys back in 2006 i'm not Dude, that was a horrible thing. It's all just uh, nurture instead of nature, basically. The yeah. opposite of the argument. Two dollars. Uh, did you know that the Bible proves he had to say it twice? He he he. said we're saying, gonna talk so, about this. So, dude, okay, I just want you guys to know this. So you guys should actually. I would love more than anything for you guys to debate flat earthers. You yeah. Don't really know because a lot of them are hard, hard pass. Pretty, really. Okay, so here's what Do here's it. what they do. So the firmament that's decide, that's described in the book of Genesis, yeah. they see that as a dome that is over a flat, almost like pizza shaped earth that we live on. That and then so they and then they you they they well they, it, it's they take from the Old Testament basically their entire audience. Now, now mind, mind you, I'm, I'm, if, I, I really think it depends on how you're looking at it. And honestly, flat. people who call the Earth "quote unquote" flat, I'm not saying I get it, but like when you're looking at it from an outside perspective and like or from like, our like, little perspective here, well, yeah, well, yeah, it's like yeah, like you how, can't see the curve you unless you're 50 actually, miles up. You yeah, see, you, you it's called in, so, the, the term is called empiricism. Exactly. I, I dude, I yeah. did a study. Yeah, I could yeah, yeah. I could make flat Earth arguments better than they can at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but it's but here's the reason why the reason why people think I'm wasting my time. Four percent of millennials believe the Earth is flat. Yeah, that's concerning. 70, that is concerning. That seventy is concerning seventy percent of people in Russia and all those other Russian countries believe we no. didn't land on the moon. There's a several why? different there's oh. several different things like that that have happened, and uh and it's just it's very concerning. Do you, can, can't they do the hot air balloon thing? Put, put a GoPro hot air balloon. No, they up? can't get to fifty miles. The atmosphere get doesn't high? get yeah. Atmosphere doesn't get what up about, to fifty miles. What, what about when they start sending people to space? That's coming. So I would literally if I could afford to go to space. I wouldn't pay for me to go. I would pay for flat flat Earth Dave. I'm sure you're watching. I would pay for flat, flat Earth, Earth Dave <laughs> to go to space and someone to put a GoPro in his fucking face while the Earth rotates underneath him every 90 minutes. I would give anything. Just go ahead, Dave. Why is it? Why is it you're floating, Dave? Why are you floating, Dave? I think Jesus Alex uh, Alex Jones said the same thing. On okay. Rogan once. He yeah, said, he said as, as soon as it's happening, like he's putting flat. He's Earth putting flat Earthers yeah. up there. Yeah, That's funny. Jesus pretty... had two dads, two dollars. Got the yay. father, Joseph. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I guess yeah. Okay. Shout uh, out to, shout out to the uh, five dollars from Michael Mitro, the greatest mod on YouTube. Shout out to the Purple Pill Podcast. Thank you so much, Michael. Shout out Everything to the Purple Pill Podcast. Yeah, oh. I go. You're good, bro. Yeah, thank you, man. Uh, shout out to Donnie. He has to peek out tonight. Later, Donnie. Thank you so much, bro. Um, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just do some more questions since we uh, weren't even getting into. Can this I, let's go two questions. Yeah. Can, can I ask a question? So my, my yeah. question for you guys: You guys seem to see the value in faith in religion. Yes, I do. Yeah, right. And so, like. If someone's a Christian, they think something supernatural happens at the point of salvation. Mm -hmm. Sure. And they literally believe that someone's born again. Something sure. you get a new heart, new desires, right? Death. Um at, at all the empirical data we see in Christian marriage, mm -hmm. people who practice Christian marriage, mm -hmm. lowest body counts, highest levels of sexual fulfillment. Uh if you're above average income, yeah. Low at least likely to get divorced. Mm. Uh I mean, I could keep spouting sure. facts, right? Um why it, why does there seem to be uh, like a flippiness from some people in the red pill sure. towards Christians and Christian marriage? I don't want to go back to Roller. We're not going to do that. But generally no, speaking. No, no, no. For sure. We, well, I've right, done a ton of we, research on we, this. Yeah. We, we, we see how distinguished this is, yeah. right? Even down to the percentage of couples who pray together regularly are like 1% to get divorced. Yeah. Right? Like the lowest levels of divorce, the highest levels of sexual right. fulfillment. So, so and, and, and there's this like. No, it seems like there's no respect yeah. towards the institution for, for, for a community that cares so much about stats. So, so here, here's for, for a community that seems so here, they care a lot about so stats. much here's, about stats. Here's, yeah. here's here's the reason. Like it why. seems omitted for, from a statistician standpoint. Advantages. This is the reason why. Yeah. Yeah. A fam you're saying they pray together, therefore there's a one percent chance of them not getting married. No, what no, may also not divorced. Not, not, not divorced. getting divorced. Okay. What actually may be happening is that this, these are two people who are set to be together. Therefore, they pray together, and also they're not less likely to get divorced. Causation, not correlation. Yeah, correct. Okay. So what what you you had made a statement before. Before on uh, another podcast where you said something to the fact of men are depressed because they're not married. Mm -hmm. And the reality is there's no science that says that men are not depre are depressed because they're not married. Mm -hmm. What it says, though, is that there's a – and I actually – I sent it to oh, Donnie if he, if he can pop this up. Mm -hmm. There's a study that shows that men who suffer from mental illness or depression are not capable of getting married. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you, you have this – 
statistical anomaly that shows that depressed men or single men are depressed. Mm -hmm. And you start getting to the idea, well, they're depressed because they're single. No, that's not the case. They are, it's not that they are single, therefore they are depressed. They are depressed, therefore they are single. And so that's kind of the issue that happens. I think that's which, the which came first that you're yeah, gonna be, but I, I you can't you. because you can't prove correlation. The other one being like, for instance, the the study that shows that 1.7% of men who are married suffer from depression and 3.6% of single men suffer from depression. Mm -hmm. That includes divorce men. 74% mm -hmm. of divorces are initiated yeah. by women. And then because of that happening, th those men are now nine times as likely to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. So if you include that cohort of 50 plus men who have been divorced and lost their money, and they're, th that, that makes that 1.7 up to 3.6. Sure. There are plenty of single, very happy men that get into their 40s. The, the, coal, the problem is when you go bankrupt. The problem is when you lose all your money and that, that epidemic of men com committing suicide. The, f the second reason was divorce. The first reason was actually money. It was them getting Finance. wiped out financially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was triple lever to the upside. I almost lost everything during the 2020 crash. Wow. And so, and, it, and I remember just being incredibly, the first time ever feeling like depressed in my life was because of something like that, because I'd worked so hard yeah. for all this. So that's, that's one of the situations why that sure. happened, but it doesn't mean that they're happier because they're married. They're happy people who got married. Mm -hmm. You would rather marry a happy person. They're not, they're not single they're not depressed because they're single. They're depressed. And also there's a great book by uh, Dr. Dave or uh, Jonathan Haidt called The Happiness Hypothesis that goes over the genetic composition of happiness. People have a baseline of happiness and it tends to do with their genetics. And so if someone is depressed, that is a neurochemical a neurochemical reaction. That depression happens. Now you're dealing with a per person who's always a victim, always just a shitty person to be around. They're just less likely to get married okay. because they're not a marriage-worthy uh, person. So 